isekais in that game isekais where the author not only capturing all these you know details right of like okay yeah this is like a this thing leveling and the, the, the language and the jokes and so on but even catching it causes of oh i'm stuck in my art and it freaking sucks because the author truly understands more this is also arguably the best written game isekai Hello everyone, of course, time for Cayenne, all right, Lana Frandale, ah, oh, my favorite crazy sociopath grandma, the beloved grandma ever, best mom. Uh, so, of course, I got my video about best mom last Sunday, right? We had to do a Marin Shan's birthday. That also happened to be my mom's birthday. I'm not even joking, I'll say it again. My mom and best girl, Marin Kitkawa, has the same birthday. If it's very hentai, seriously. Uh, but I'm not even joking. So I made that best mom girl video last Sunday, right? We're talking about some moms, right? Uh, but I mean, actual good moms, you know, like uh, Hilly and Corson, right? Really good moms. My Kayana is like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> As a mother, I mean, she's a good character, but maybe she's a good character? Maybe not a good mom, right? Uh, yeah. Anyway, so later than usual, I had a phone call. You just put some streaming. I got a phone call from work, so I had to take it. It was interesting. But anyway, let's do immediately. So, three, two, one, and go! Of course, uh, zombie grandma, don't they? And I think grandma is in zombies. Yes. Exactly, zombies. Zombie! Zombie! Last year, Masaki on me! No! After I even the opening, I go and get Masaki. I need my Masaki. Zombies everywhere! Zombie! <laughs> God, I'm sorry, I can't stop it. Get my little, you know, best boy in me. Zombie! Oh, I, oh God, how much I love Zombie Lens Sega. It's so good. Oh, Saki. My God, the ultimate undead best girl ever. But anyway, it's like video gamer, stuck in a. I play Elder Ring, you know? So, of course, you know, zombies everywhere. Undead as well. Maybe I can burn the whole map! This is my love! <laughs> Maybe if I genocide everyone! Oh, that's good, Kayana. Classic. What if I murder them all with fire? I think that's just a good character. She's like, what if I just genocide the whole country? If I just burn it by the last. Scorch Earth strategy. Okay, here comes a player, probably. Looks like a necromance player, right? Hopefully, probably? Yeah. Okay, I need my Saki shot. I forgot about Saki. Do 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 I got zombies. Zombies! Do 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 la na 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 I needed that. Oh, I need a smile. <sighs> needed my sake, baby. Oh, come back around you. There we go. Need to put on my sake shirt. Oh, for Christ, man. I was like, zombie? I finally remember that there's zombies right there. Yeah. Do, 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 do. This is more for like a game later, but a little bit. I need the energy. Same more for Elden Ring later, but yeah. <laughs> Elden Ring has made me become a thing addict. <laughs> Elden Ring has made me drink a lot of energy drinks <laughs> because I played so late. It's so addictive. You keep playing it in the middle of the night. You can keep drinking energy drinks. Like I think twelve drinks again. I didn't drink it until so twelve. I'm more, more like probably twenty for me. It's probably days where there's more energy drinks. Anyway, zombies. Um, it's good sake. Oh, it's the crossdresser. Yeah, it's the Utukunoko. I think so, it is. This is the, you know, the, the girl with the pee pee. Yeah. So it's like a zombie crossdresser? Lily! It's Lily Shan! Yeah, I got Nakamas. Yeah. Where's my Lily? Gotta bring in my Lily. Lily! There we go. Yeah, it's Lily! Definitely, it's a Lily. 
Zombies and crossdressing. A survivor? <laughs> you said it! You get to that burn whole city? It's like a human over there! Okay, <laughs> it's like, what if I kill everyone? It would be easy! You bunch of zombies anyway, yeah! She's probably stronger than me, some kind of goddess character. She's way stronger. Are you changing your voice? <laughs> yeah. Really bad at playing uh, Otokonogo. What's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> this sounds like whatever. Oh, God. You can't fight with Yandu Sai Grandma. I just wanted to see your power level. <laughs> exactly. I just wanted to confirm that you are a goddess. Okay. I just wanted to confirm that you're way stronger than me. Okay, no, so she's. Whoa, level 630? This guy is pretty elite, man. He's really high level. This guy is legit, man. XXX. It's like a poor porn name. <laughs> XXX. It's like a porn name. XXXXX. It's like, uh, no. I'm not talking about alt, man. I'm talking about alt. <laughs> Tartar sauce, man. No. This brings me back, yes, tartar sauce. Which? Okay, so he was also in cream, but he's so hot. I love it. Tartar sauce! <laughs> yeah, but he's sucking his alt. I'm sucking my alt movement! That's why I'm a fucking warrior now. He used to play mage. Uh, Naruto, no, Naruto! No. I don't know what this character keeps trying to be this, you know, pretend Lily, yeah. Bad Lily, bad Lily! Woman? Oh, you're a man? I guess he's just gender bender. I guess he's just gender bender. What about the other one? Is he cross dressing? Or did he gender bender like, uh, you know, like uh, Kenya or something? Is he gender bender? Yeah, I don't know. Is he gender bender? Or is he. Because now it's like you're a guy, eh? But uh, yeah, it's like, hmm. But I like this guy used to be in Cream Cheese, the evil guild. But yeah, he's just alt. He's weaker now. <laughs> no, but it feels kind of annoying, right? Because you play uh, more Portuguese, you usually have an alt, right? Yeah, I'm my main Death Knight, but I play Mage, you know, off, you know, Hunter and Mage, you know, rather Raid and so on. Yeah, it was annoying. I mean, be stuck in your lower, weaker class, right? Like I, I used to be max level, you know, Mage, so now like half the level as a warrior. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, right? In this like real life game world. <laughs> but seriously, again, the author is so good, this anime. Because the author clearly guessed his games. Yeah, the author is like, oh, it's like an alt, oh, what a loser, oh, annoying, totter sauce. Yeah, bad joke on Kena. But again, I love that she was like, I'm just gonna burn the whole village down. Scorch Earth's grandma. She was like, genocide time, yeah, <laughs> no one blame me. It's like, is that you behind it? <sighs> Stupid, innocent people. Kayen I clearly wants to just burn the village down. But it's probably a little girl or something. Yeah, no she can't burn- Oh, poor Kayena! It's a little girl to say. No she can't burn the village down. Lukashan, see? No she can't destroy the whole village. She has to protect the little girl, right? God damn it. Oh yeah, they can see her because the players. It's my little fairy. Yeah, the super evil- so he's like that bastard! Everyone hates this guy. He's like ah, the super evil demon guy. Oh, I haven't seen him, but he's probably killing people out there. Exactly. Everyone hates Opus. Come on, uh, Kia. He's an awful. <laughs> he loves he loves hurting his teammates with collateral damage. He loves doing friendly fire. Yeah, he's like friendly fire master. A great gamer. <laughs> Does maximum damage on his own team. Yeah, great. Probably the best guildmate ever. Uh, he was great now, Rage Man. He's always triggering everything. Yeah, it's like. He always went, you know, max Pyromass or something. Everyone took damage. Oh, uh, great. But now we're here as a girl. Can't you just take the girl and then burn down the village? You know? Can't you just take the girl now and then just, like, genocide the village? Classic Kiana style.
I played a lot. <laughs> it's like no lifer. <laughs> I can't play my <laughs> Yeah, you have no goddamn life. As we know, of course, she was stuck in a coma. So, I mean, I mean first she was stuck in. You um, generally have. Yeah, she played for at least twenty thousand hours. Okay, she has no life. <laughs> but I mean, she was stuck in a hospital bed. So yeah. Oh, nice. You can summon a battle and a mage. They have two of them, right? They can summon one of each. A boat. Boat! A boat. <laughs> boat. Come on. It's not always boat. It's like, what do you like? Ass or, bo ass or boobs? Boat, right? Come on. Oh, it's like a cool door and everything. It really is like summoning a whole place. That, yeah, it comes up like a... <laughs> I'm actually like, I played for 20,000 hours, I got two of these. <laughs> Why do you have two? Oh, I played a lot. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> but, uh, okay, it's a butler, yes. A cat butler, it's Phoenix. No, it's a female voice, though. Oh, it's like a female cat butler. I guess. Yeah, it's like a flat-chested cat girl. Broxilius. I suppose Genki. Yeah. So the maid is on the maid is an idiot and the butler is a serious yeah. Oh that maid an idiot. I don't know who she is, she has like Immediately is that the other woman? I have no idea who she is. Yeah. This is the perfect servant and the other one is uh, obnoxious Christmas person probably. But uh, I guess the is a gender bender the other play again, right? Hmm, I think so. But why would the voice change that? Like, why why would she he? Cause even if he's a man, it's like an athlete's body, wouldn't he have the same voice, right? Wouldn't he have the same voice then? Like, why would he change the voice? I'm cheating, man. Oh, two bosses. <laughs> a ghost ship. Okay, that's good. Classic video gaming. Terror skeleton. You gotta defeat the skeleton boss on a... Here we go. Goku time, baby! She's like, go Goku. Man, she's just a goddamn gamer. This is gonna be awesome! A terror boss? <laughs> yeah, they're like... We have to save you, see the girls gonna die! And Kiel is like, oh yeah, a terror skeleton captain? It's gonna be fun! <laughs> she's just like, yeah! I would have killed it! It's like... Uh, He's such an obnoxious uh, gamer girl. <laughs> gamer. Captain just burned it down and all everything. <laughs> he's like always safe with the massive genocide fire. I like it, he's like, yeah, that's Kiena. That's the Kiena I know. Always into like, oh, massive fire attacks. It's like, can I just burn it all down? It's like, you, 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 can, you can fight it, maybe burn it all down immediately? It's like, no. But her uh, her friend then is a tartar sauce. He needs to level up, right? So yeah, he needs to level, right? So he can go in and grab some XP. Okay, why well, would Kiana do that? But whatever, he wants to kill the boss. I would feel that Kiana would be probably be the more boss fighter, but sure. He and I also kick, kick ass though, so... This poor skeleton, there's no chance. Maybe it's too easy, right? I don't know! I'm playing with Elder Ring, it's like second form time. <laughs> I play with Super Elder Ring, it's like it's got to form! To turn into kind of guard or something, it's turn into kind of uh, uh, some monster with seven hands and like eleven heads or something. This is clearly too easy. Way too easy. Where's the second form? Where's the where's the disgusting monster form shit? Why where, where, where is it gonna like fuse with the ship? What what did like transform into like a kraken or something and a ship kraken or something? What, what happening? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's too easy. 
We were over leveled, yeah, that was too easy. Ah, see shit! <laughs> it's my life, but let's go! Um, I guess they've over leveled, I suppose. I like your kill immediately. It's not my problem. <laughs> it was just a good main character. She's so goddamn selfish. She's so goddamn selfish. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's not my problem. Who's gonna like rebuild? Can't they like re summon him though? The can't they? It, it was more like my my summoning. Yeah. This is a can't they? Like eleven two hundred fifty. You can't re summon him. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> like, I lost my captor body. You can't re summon him. It's like, uh, but I mean, it's, it's a cool down. It's like, it's a cool, it's a cool down, though. So, <laughs> yeah, come on. Uh, Kayana, she's so, <laughs> she's so lovely. I lost my summoning, okay? It's like for a few, for a few time, time spam. No, I have to stand. I'm a butler. Hmm. some I did. But yeah, her interaction with all the players is probably the best part. Except of course the family, with her my my and so on. It's the best part, of course. She's scared by the uh, big lizard guy immediately. Dragonoid. Scary. But no, but I mean, except of course with her family, which is fun as hell. Um, Otherwise, I feel her reaction with other players, right? they're like, oh, Kayana, the goddess player, yeah, they're like, oh, she's crazy. Now what likes happening now, he was like, she's like, a quest day, what if he burn it all down? He's like, always with the fire, Kayana, maybe you can fight the boat. No, no, burn it all to the ground before we even get there. It's like, yeah, maybe we could like, no. <laughs> it's like, she immediately, you know, is like, what if I just blow it up with a new cry? I don't have to fight the boss then. yeah, he's like, oh, God, it's just... Oh, yeah, like she has the solution of almost like mass genocide burn attack. That's like her her, her go-to plan is like, what if I just scorch earth everything? Then I'm certainly if you kill the boss right there, like, yeah. Okay, now she's back to mermaid. Oh my god, sexy mermaid here now. Yeah, it's gonna find the mermaid's village right or titty or whatever, Atlantis or something. <laughs> the ears over there. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to flip the ears. Yes, master! <laughs> I'm gonna the ear flip every time, come on. Yeah, without dying. Stop being a damn... Yeah, no worry, nothing. <laughs> he summoned some goddamn dragon. Oh, uh, he's, he's really fast, yeah. She summoned a goddamn blue dragon, like nothing. Uh, he, he can carry some mount. He's like an underwater mount. Yeah. Underwater mount, baby. Here we go. See, yeah, under the water mounting. Ah, oh, oh, it's the best kind of mount. Finally, you can swim faster. Everyone hates the water stage. Now you can finally skip it here. I wonder if I see in any games that makes a good water stage. They've never, this, you can't be done, right? It can't be done. There are games which are like bearable, but there's so few games with the water stage. Oh, this is an opening, of course. They're, they're like this, um, yeah, yeah. Red Dragon Palace, yeah, Ryo, Ryoki Kingdom. Very one piece, very one piece. Yeah. See the horses one, yeah. Very one piece. It's like a Chinese. It's like a forbidden palace in the water. Cool design. It really reminds me of Neo Two when you go into Neo Two and you have this, like forbidden palace. Um, will you fight William? Yeah. Yeah, in Neo 2 you have this place where you like revive the first character, William, from the first game. Basically. It's like an optional thing, and then you... This is like a forbidden palace in the water thing. It looks extremely similar, actually, to this thing. Like, very similar. Um... Here we go. Let's be a thing down here, right? Are you the guardian? <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, just frog fear? Karu fear? Kayat on the weakest? Big frogs? <laughs> Are you the guardian? 
Nice ass there, nice Kiana butt. Okay, so her only fear is frogs. Not zombies, not lilies, but frogs. Yeah, she hates frogs, Kairos. Yeah, please stop being angry at me, frog. She seems really for the frogs. A pink queen frog or something. She's. You, my new master, right? No. No. I guess so. <laughs> okay. She's like, yeah, that, that's. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, she got hand of the hentai frogs. Of course. Yeah, disgusting hentai frogs. Yeah. So still wanna go aqua, it's just the one I go aqua, you know. That's the one I get slimed up. Yeah. That's just a like candy eyes, you know? She's like kind of like candy wrapper eyes, yeah. So we had pupils. Um, couldn't find the mermaids. Okay. But she could find another bastard. Uh, can't find any murs. But okay, so Kian has a weakness. She's afraid of uh, hand type frogs. Yeah, that's her true weakness. Sticky, sticky, licky tongues. And what will this little girl do? Luca Shan. She's gonna. Just... Yeah, she's registering more pass. X X X X. Is that the most guy gaming name ever? Is it the most gaming name ever? X X X. Yeah, triple X. Yeah, like you know, the most like or barcode. Yeah, it's like barcode. X X X X. -X. Just like nothingness. He's really high level though, this alt here. But why is. I can't think of the, the gender of the character. Of Qualtech, or his name was. Or her name. Yeah, I don't understand. What's her gender? What's his gender? It sounded like it was like a man stuck in a girl's body now, I said. But then I think the voice would be the same thing anyway. But uh, he keep he, she keeps changing voice, right? Yeah, I don't really understand the gender. Is it a crossdresser? Is it a gender bender? Very Lily episode. Very Lily. Let's gonna zoom. Zoom, baby. When is Dragon Quest 12 arriving? You know, I love Dragon Quest. Freaking, I'm an old school Dragon Quest, you know. Where's my garden Dragon Quest? Where's my DQ 12? And that was so good. And the hard on Draconian, but yeah. Yeah, I played the whole, you know, DQ11 Draconian mode. Full Draconian, baby. No items, no armor, everything is twice as strong. No, uh, whatever it is, like, no uh, escaping and so on. Pretty awesome. Love that shit. Actual hard mode. Pfft, hell dead ring. Draconian mode DQ11, that was hard shit, man. So boss took me so many attempts. <laughs> it was so hard. It was so hard. But anyway, yeah, now she picks up another little sister, yeah. She's a very, like, family-oriented woman, and she picks up a lot of girls she adopts, right? <laughs> adopts another daughter! <laughs> yeah, oh, here my little Lucasan! Picks up a little jealousy to daughter of her maid daughter, yeah. She she picks up little girls everywhere, man. What a weirdo. Um... Um, yeah, she keeps picking up little girls, right? It's not her thing. <laughs> Keep recruiting the little ones. But, uh, I was thinking of, yeah, just, just freaking my mind was like, when is freaking DQ12 coming? I need to make a freaking Dragon Quest 12, baby. They have announced it. It's called The Flames of Fate. Uh, and the, the claim is a bit for adults, but Dragon Quest has always been very adult in the storyline. Um, maybe they're gonna drop some of the graphic. I can't see it happening, though, that they drop how the graphic is. I can't see it happening. But uh, yeah, I hope it just stays the same, right? <laughs> Dragon Quest is the most traditional role playing game ever. It's just stay the same! Not to shit with like, oh, we're gonna change it. No, no, no. We're gonna stay the same, man. Stay the goddamn same. Um, but anyway, talk about the episode. Got some sexy mermaid going action. Kay and I won't do, like, explode the planet, you know how she is. But, but yeah, I don't understand this character. What's I don't get it, right? What What's her gender, right? Is that a man? Is that a woman? Is that a crossdresser? Is it Okunoko? Is it just gender bender? Because now I felt like he and I was like, haha, you're a man sucking on a girl's body! Do you like having boobs? Yeah, now I felt she was like, hee hee, you got boobs now, yeah. 
or something. But what I don't get with that is that why would that change uh, his her voice, right? Because okay, let's say it is a man then, you know, stuck in a woman's body, right? Kind of like Ken, for example, or Fantasy. Yesterday we had two girls, the end of the enemies, right? Uh, with Isakai, yeah. So this ca character then, Qualtech, whatever it's pronounced, uh, he she will be stuck then in a girl's body, right? But my issue there, of course, is that if you're stuck, if I go for search for a woman, right? My voice, my voice, you know what it's called, um, my tonal voice, would then be of the money body. So my 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 voice would have been changed into more of a feminine voice, most likely. <laughs> it has to be, I suppose, but most likely, right? Uh, I would have more of a feminine voice, and it wouldn't like stop being feminine when I f forget that I'm a woman to speak. It's kind of like uh, Ranma. Of course, I love Ranma, 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 Ranma One and a Half. Of course, I have all the mangas. This classic, but probably the most I iconic, I would say, gender bender manga, right? Ranma. Uh, and of course, in Ranma, then, uh, when he changed to a woman and get red hair and so on, and get boobs, right? Uh, his voice, like the anime, becomes a female voice, right? And then, of course, he goes back to a man, he has a man voice. So his, his voice as a woman is the same, right? All the time. As long as he is in the female form, right? And this kind of has to be with his character, so I don't really get it. Because if this is a man stuck in a girl's body, right? Stuck in a, you know, like a badass warrior lady body, he, he, he wouldn't he just have like a female voice right? and, and not be a woman, right? He would then, yeah, change gender and, you know, permanently be a woman. He wouldn't, like, go back and forth be having, like, a... Like, when he forgets that he's a man or he's a woman, he has a ma male voice again, right? But, but... And that of course, oh, he's a crossdresser, Utsukunoku, right? So for some reason, pretending to be a woman, and then to just be a player. Um, but again, is it, doesn't it sound weird? Doesn't it sound like this character actually is a gender bender person, right? Like, born as a man, played a female character in the game, now stuck permanently as a female character in, of course, this um, setting, yeah. So that that's kind of I, I just find it very strange, honestly. I find it very very. I just love how Kira is a douchebag. I just love it. She's just a like douche. I just love it. You know, his name is Tartaros. Tartaros is like hell. You know, like that's like a place of, you know, like the, the realm of hell, right? To speak. And uh, for example, if you watch the fairy tale, right? Tartaros, you know, it's a guild in fairy tale. Based, you know, on a place like a hellish dimension, right? Usually, that's you. Tart that's usually what Tartaros is like. You know, referred to, right? He's now like, I'm Tartaros, you know, like the badass, uh, you know, hell dimension, right? Yeah, typical gamer name, you know, yeah, I am Hades or something like that, you know. And she's like, Tartar Sauce, <laughs> Tartar Sauce, oh, I remember you. <laughs> He's like, yep, that, 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 that's the key and I know, but I just love that, that, that interaction. He's just like, I have this badass name, right, you know, I'm, yeah, but I love it, right? He has this, like, I'm this badass, it's kind of like, you know, I am hardest, you know, whatever. Right? He's like, yeah, I'm this, you know, I'm hell or something. And she's like, <laughs> oh yeah, your name is food, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's kind of like, for example, um, one game that I had, not every game, but I had from, from very, very long time ago, was uh, Taimat, right? Taimat is like the, you know, the dragon in Mesopotamian mythology, and it's like a dark dragon in Breath of Fire and so on, right? But also, in, for example, in Swedish, Taimat, if you pronounce it wrong, then Thai mat would be like food from Thailand. So in Swedish, if you read Thai mat, but of course you should read that in Swedish then, Thai mat, that, that, then it would be like a Thailand, Thailand food, right? So I had some friends and I was like 12 or whatever, like, oh, your name is uh, Thai, Thai food, <laughs> Thai food, right? And I'm just like, no, it means it's like a dragon. Like, oh, no, 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 that's like uh, food, you know. So yeah, that kind of behavior, right? Like a little girl, <laughs> like, I'm only the bastard. That's Kaina! But that's kind of why I love her, right? Because she's like this goddamn douchebag gamer. <laughs> Your name is this shit. Uh, so what, right? Um, more than why, I really love this episode. And honestly, you know, obviously, you know, I, I watch every goddamn Mr. Kawa and so on. Uh, but for me, Konosuba is fine, right? Because Konosuba is like, it's not really like gaming Isekai. Yes, there is Isekai and they have levels, but it's not very, like, important. Only with Megumin. Uh, Megumin is whatever I'm tired. I have a Mega Man figure on the side of the table. Yeah. Um, okay, whatever. I get, I get it. No, oh, it's easy to get because it's like it's just across the TV. Mega Man. Not open, but yeah, looks like that. But this huge Mega Man. Um, so yeah, explosive figure. Explosive figure. Can I see the name of it? Still unboxed. It's of course, ah, whatever. But yeah, it's uh, it's of course the the movie. Uh, of course. 
Connors we bought the movie there. Whatever. A little side note. Here should be. <laughs> little side note. It's too big to bass it on that thing. It's actually pretty big, honestly. It's not the biggest figure I have, but it's a very big box, I mean, honestly. The figure is actually smaller than the Red View. Red View, of course, is a bigger box at the moment, but the figure. It's a nice boxer. Actually, it's a very big box, I feel, for like, you know, for this size, I would say, right? Um, for a figure. Usually, the box would be tinier for that kind of size of a figure. So, the box is freaking massive. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I sort of be like, look at my stuff here. Um, no, but for example, Konosuba. Good example, I think. Because Konosuba, then again, right? Uh, they have levels. It's important for Megumin, because, you know, she's like, I'm too high level, right? I, I want to level up my, my, my damage, right? Okay. But otherwise, it's being a gaming, doesn't really matter, okay? Because here, for example, because, you know, in Yusha, that's also like when he's leveling all the time, because the joke is that he's so overleveled, right? He has to exercise all the time. So, okay, so the gaming progress, the gaming system is important in the sense that he is really overleveled. It's very, very, you know, grindy. That, so it's important, the general premise, right? But otherwise, it's also the support that actually what rules or whatever. Right? Uh, but in some of these isekais, they get way more gaming. You know, they have to have a tr talent tree shit, right? Like for example, Kumoko. It's also right. But most of the time, uh, when they have these uh, you know video game isekais, they're pretty crap, right? They're pretty crap. Yeah, they don't really have a system that makes any sense. For example, Bofuri, probably the best example of this insanely bad system. People are like, oh, it's the best game ever. No, that video game, and I made a video about that a few years ago. Right? That video game makes no sense. I mean, of course, it looks cool to play as Maple and be immortal and get this pet or whatever, but if you actually look from an like, like engineering standpoint, that game would never exist, right? Because it's like, in that video game, uh, basically, by doing X, Y, or C, she's immortal, and that, that's one thing, but that's fine, it's like a build, right? But however, in episode 5 or 6 or so, she basically falls into a hole and picks up like an angel power, that's Imba, Fuzz it out of the hole and becomes no like Satan right there. Yeah. That makes no sense. No one will ever make a video game. Uh, let's have an Elden Ring now, right there. Yeah. Elden Ring, right? You can fall into, you can find this dungeon or whatever, right? But no one would ever design it that, well, the first catacomb in Elden Ring would give you the best sword in the game. Doesn't make any sense, right? Even if the best sword would be in this one of these random catacombs, it wouldn't be in the first top of the sword. That would be really crappy because you pick the sword up. You never change weapon again. Right? It's just boring. It's boring and it's imbalanced, right? No one's ever going to sign that. But if you did, they're really terrible. Right? And Bufuri, the whole end of Bufuri is done by like the worst game design ever, right? Because everything in that game with the anime makes no sense from like any like logical standpoint, right? And there's no way a game ever be made like that. And so it's not really about her like maximizing vitality, which is a very basic build in most games, right? It's about everything else that happens, and also especially how people are. Like surprised, it's just a full tank, the probably dumbest thing. The people are like, what, you're full vitality? Like, yeah, like, because I mean, if you ever play like Diablo or whatever, right? Like Diablo 2 PvP, usually was like, you, you maximize vitality and you get what you need in like strength or whatever to have your item. So it's like, well, I need 50 strength to have my sword, and that's like 300 vitality. <laughs> that's usually how you play that. Right? Like, you maximize only vitality and everything else is just like, well, I need to have the requirements, right? To be able to carry X weapon. Right? Uh, and so on. So anyway, that anime, great example of terrible understanding of actual game development. The, the fifth author has never actually ever played a video game in your life, right? Um, but this anime instead is arguably, I think, one of the best authors ever when it comes to actual understanding. Not just like levels and items and so on, but actually understanding kind of dynamic of video games and basically players, right? Because this direction here is so good. Use how Kaya's like, who <laughs> turtle sauce? First of all, that's great, funny and it, it, it makes sense because this is how people act, right? They have an acid every time out. Oh, Toy Food, his name is so stupid, yeah. That's very, very common, right, in this, like, even more, yeah, people before a name and so on. So that the whole interaction is something that certainly the author has interacted with that probably, right? That's one thing. But even more so, I just love seeing it again that the author, every episode of it, the author shows that they really understand, right, how a game system works and how players are. So this guy then, Tartar, Tartar or Tartar Sauce, he's actually, you know, a much, much stronger character, right? Tartar Sauce, he's like a max level mage guy, or whatever. But because he was playing his alt, which is typically, you know, in, in movement, so when you play your, your, you know, your side character, you're leveling up or whatever, right? Or you're bored or something. Uh, so he's playing his warrior dragon, right? You know, dragon or warrior. He's like, oh, I'm stuck in my, you know, much, much weaker dragon form. 
Uh, but you know, it's me, you know, cream cheese guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy of malt, you know. So I just love, again, I just love how the author is capturing what probably would happen, right? If you had it, it's a classic thing. Yeah, you would like, for example, then, in World of Warcraft, I play Death Knight primarily, but I also have like a, 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 a warlock, and I have a monk, and I have a hunter, and you have a bunch of alts, right? And a shaman. Usually I play on like my Death Knight, and then I like to. Play some more like healing, right? So I go over that, or play like range, I play my hunter, right? For example, also then warlock, especially my void warlock. So I could see myself having like you know maximum gear on my death knight, you know ultimate plate, epic everything. And then it's like, well, today I'm gonna play my warlock, right? To some mean, to some easter quest. And then this happens, like I'm stuck in my warlock girl with like you know I'm I would, be, I would still be max level, so we'll be level quickly. But my gear would be terrible. I'll be like, oh shit, I got all blue, like three epics. My death has like, you know, 55 epics. I'm like, Ugh! <laughs> I would be half as strong, right? So I think yet again, this is a great example of a great author because this guy is clearly showing and experiencing this freaking trauma of like, well, I'm stuck in my, you know, half ass alt character. Like, god damn it, I have this like maximized level mage. I would be a god in this world. And instead, I'm like running around with a sword, like, okay, I'm still a strong guy. He's like still really high level, right? But compared to being like level 1000 and having, you know, full gear, he's like, yeah, it's taken like 10 years to get to that level. <laughs> I mean, they have to level this game with it. It took him like a, a lifetime to get back there. Right? He's like, you know, well, I'm still like one of the strongest, but I could have been a god. <laughs> so, very disappointing, right? Playing all that day, being stuck, right? No, but honestly, this is again something that I haven't seen before, honestly. I haven't seen before, honestly, I feel, in all the isekais, in that game isekais, with the author not only capturing all these, you know, details, right, of like, okay, yeah, this is like a, this thing leveling, and the, the, the language, and the jokes, and so on, but even catching it causes of, oh, I'm stuck in my auth, and it freaking sucks, because I have this shit, and I used to be this famous Tatar, Tatar sauce guy, he's also famous, she's like, no, I don't know who you are, no, I'm a famous, I'm in your guild, like, no, you're some kind of very guy, no, I'm this guy, you know, this famous player, Oh, it's your all. Oh, sorry about that, man. Should've been playing your. Yeah, it's like I see you now. Yeah, you, yeah, that sucks, man. That really sucks. <laughs> like, you know, and this kind of interaction I never seen before. I think it does anime. It's just, like, the author is amazing. The author truly understands and more for you. This is also arguably the best written game music I. Um, like seriously, from an actual like gaming standpoint, right? Not necessarily like the best lore or whatever dialogue or whatever, right? But from like an actually. Adapting a game into an isekai or an anime, I mean, or a storyline, this might be the best author I've ever seen, honestly. There's a more good one, Logger Ice is good too, as well, but Logger Ice is more like the actual strategy and buffs and so on, yeah, the actual cult fighting gameplay, right? But this author really gets the whole idea of like, oh, I'm fucking this thing, or you yeah, have my children there, or you know, oh, we used to be in this guild together. This author really understands the dynamic between players, I guess, the social dynamic between the players, and that's why the anime is so fun too, because I feel the jokes are really, really funny, because of me being a gamer, right, having, having worked with game, with game development for many years too, uh, so obviously I also had the experience of, you know, reading, you know, video game, I say, like comments, right, or mails from users, or sitting in Discord, not my personal, but my Discord, the word Discord, right, and reading, you know, comments from players, being like, oh, this thing is too imbalanced, please nerf this gun, or whatever, yeah, having that experience too, right, I really I recognize his lingo. So, but I don't know who the, author, the author's backstory, but the author has to have played a lot of, at least one uh, video game a lot, and really have experience it. Because, yeah, the author is like spot on. Freaking amazing. And truly, it's a, for me, it's a talent ten anime, right? Because this arguably is the best written Isekai game ever. Uh, from like, again, from a gaming aspect. Not actually my. F so, I just want to point out, that would be like negative on my last point, but this is not like my favorite Isekai of all time. It isn't. Konosuba, is it? You know? So, like Konosuba, right? But it's like Konosuba again doesn't really capture these kind of gaming stuff. Right? But again, as I mentioned earlier, Konosuba isn't really that focused on gaming anyway. It isn't really focused on you know the actual game that being in a video game, right? Um, but so this might be my favorite. Now that Koshihiro, otherwise I really love Koshihiro. Right? That is more video gamey. But again, doesn't really as I mentioned. Yeah, just focus on it. This is like from off the anime. It's really focused on. Being this level, players, you know, the social, the guild, and so on. This, I think, is the best one. It's so much better than Bufura. Bufura is at the worst. Yeah, Bufura, I mentioned earlier, it's so, so bad. This one, Bufura, everything is so shoehorned. It's like, oh, what? You're full of strength, Bill? Oh my god, I never heard about that before. In Bufura, it's at the worst because no one in Bufura 
acts like people actually do in real life. Yeah, they're all like, oh my god, Maple cheats again. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we're in reality be like, f that girl, she cheats. <laughs> you know what I mean? That that's probably that could be the dumbest thing in the theory, except that they don't have such a tank. Is that when she cheats all the time, right, and, and, and uses glitch the bugs, no one gets angry. It's like Federica. Federica is the only girl that's salty. She's like, I hate Maple. She's a cheater. And so yeah, she's the only girl in the whole anime that hates the main character. Every other character is like, wow. She cheated again. What a what a what a what a main character. Yeah, the the the, the behavior that everyone has has in the anime is so bad because no player acts like that, right? And this anime is that it's so much better because every here, like this guy here, he's acting right like an actual person stuck in the game. He's an actual player. He his behavior and dialogue of his character are actually how people act in in real life, right? So it's so it's so well written, seriously. Yeah, this anime is freaking talent, talent, man. This is so well written. Could almost be my favorite episode just because how well written it is on this um, game, game social aspect. Like how people actually act. The author really gets it. People actually talk about right? it. Like the title social game. It really gets it. Anyway, make it mean it's explosive! Show it the game because it's badass. No, but seriously, this box is so big, man. I, like, you don't get these big boxes usually. Right? Look at it. Massive. Massive. <gasps> make it mean. And it's the. I think it's like a turd. Third figure the main mega mean. It's the you know, it's like the uh, what do you call it? The, the movie, yeah. So it's the third version. I think so. I think it's like one version from the first season, right? It's a two of course, and it's like it's like season three, right? The movie version. Uh but anyway, yeah, just kinda of slap button, do Elder Ring later tonight on either Twitch or YouTube. See what I'm streaming down the easiest. Yesterday it was on Flesh Asus again. Not a big deal, but it's like sometimes on PlayStation when you press the uh, stream button. It's like, oh, execution, blah, blah, blah. And it's not my fault, it's not YouTube's fault. It's, it's, it's PlayStation. PlayStation is a famous less issue. And it's been there for like five years or 10 years, I don't know, longer than I've been streaming. And it, it happens every now and then. You do a few times and eventually it starts. <laughs> but it's just like, how do you fix this only? They're like, I will fix it. <laughs> so, but anyway, see you guys and have a great day.